A judge attempts to silence Drew Peterson's former attorney after he told WGN Investigates he's considering revealing what he says Peterson told him happened to his former wives. But just as soon as the judge issued that gag order, the attorney was talking again to our Ben Bradley. Curious what he had to say today, Ben. Well, Ray and Mike, up more than a decade ago, unfortunately, the Drew Peterson case turned into something of a circus. Now it appears there will be at least one more act as Peterson's one-time defender defies a judge's order to stay silent. I feel bad about what, uh, you know, Drew you know, still not taking a responsibility and Stacy still being missing, and I'm thinking about um, maybe, you know, revealing what happened to Stacy and, and, and what, where she is. This was the interview that landed Joel Bronski back in a Will County courtroom today. His former client, Drew Peterson's current public defender, asked for a gag order against Bronski, claiming if Bronski shared any information, Peterson may have told him about the murder of his third wife, Kathleen Savio, or the disappearance of his fourth wife, Stacy. It could scuttle Peterson's appeal for a new trial. Once again, Drew Peterson's big, fat lips are, gonna get him in, are getting him in trouble. He just can't keep his mouth shut. Brodsky says that because Peterson is claiming he was such an ineffective lawyer that he should get a new trial, Brodsky has the right to defend himself. For all the legal eagles out there that are thinking that I'm breaching attorney-client privilege, they ought to look at Rule of Professional Conduct 1.6b5 that says where a client wrongfully accuses his former attorney of a wrongful act the wrong, the, that waives the attorney-client privilege. Peterson's public defender cited our interview in his motion and said revealing information could taint any potential jury pool. He added that Peterson categorically denies sharing with Brodsky any incriminating information. Puts in his motion that he didn't tell me anything incriminating. That's a false statement, so I can prove it false. I mean, the guy just can't, he can't stop shooting himself in the foot. It's amazing. The judge barely let Brodsky speak during the emergency hearing, at one point threatening to have him removed from the courtroom. But he suggested Brodsky may have a point down the road, saying if Mr. Peterson were to testify, that may absolve Mr. Brodsky of any obligation he has to keep those conversations privileged. He put a gag order on Brodsky, but not five minutes later, he was back in front of our camera. You just walked out of a courtroom yeah. and violated a gag order. Well, no, he didn't Are you him. now well, going to reveal what happened to Stacy? Yeah, I mean, look, at, the question is not if, the question is how. That's, that, I think, is, is basically the conclusion I've come to. And that's what's going to, and so uh, that's going to happen. 15 years after Stacy's disappearance, it's the fierce feud between Peterson and his former attorney that could finally provide answers to one of the Chicago area's most perplexing cases. If it's weighing on your conscience that much, you can see the pain in my eyes and I, it kills me every day. So give it up. Brodsky said he's prepared to do just that, but it apparently won't happen until he and the cop turned convicted wife killer engage in one final face off. I'm more afraid of my, of, uh, my uh, you know, one ounce, but my one pound dog than I am with Drew Peterson. He's, he's a blowhard, you know, for all his, his, his swagger, you owe me you hurt defenseless women. I'm not a defenseless woman. Well, the judge could very well find Brodsky in contempt of court, even dispatch sheriff's deputies to have him arrested for disobeying that gag order today. Brodsky says he is appealing the gag order. In the meantime, Stacy's family waits and hurts just as they have for almost 15 years. So basically, he comes out of the courtroom and says, it's not if he killed, but how. He told me off camera in our interview that he could point police to where Stacy Peterson is located. Uh, and again today when I asked him about that and whether that statement was still effective, right. uh, he said 100%. Well, when, when will he make that re big revelation? So that's the big question. You know, he says he's looking for the right opportunity because he wants the story to be about Stacy. He doesn't want it to be... Um, I don't know, lost in the, in, the, in the chaos just as so much was during the Drew Peterson right. case. But keep in mind, it was Drew Peterson and Brodsky that caused a lot of that media circus. It was all then. about mm -hmm. them. It was all about them. We shall see what happens. All right, all right Ben. Well, developing right now, a 13.